back to my channel and welcome back to part two of cropping clothes as you can see from the corner of my screen i have my cutting board out for the work for a minute and um, in a bit of a weird setup today just because i actually have the camera far enough back for me to stand so that you can see my jeans so i'm going to be turning or trying to turn i should really preface two pairs of jeans into shorts so I just sat down to film this little intro, hence why the camera angle is a little bit weird. Um, if you've seen my Valentine's Day video, which was up, I want to say last week, um, then you'll know that I was not having a good time with having nice backgrounds for my videos. So I'm trying to work on that at the minute. And apart from the fact that I have all my toiletries here, I think if that was replaced with something cute and new or cute and different then this could be quite nice but anyway i am rambling so let's get into the video so first things first i'm going to show you the two pairs of jeans that i am going to be hopefully cropping and then we're going to get started bare faced jumper on which means one thing it's a tuesday evening and i figured lockdown and nothing else better to do so why not be productive record a video and hopefully not destroy some clothes so anyway again rambling Let's get into the video. So I know that the this is a little bit weird because of this dresser. Um, to be honest, it's hard to get full length shots. I haven't even tried the jeans on yet, so I don't know why I'm explaining this. Anyway, this is where I'll be standing. So this is the first pair of jeans. They're from New Look. They are the Layla, L-E-Y-L-A, relaxed skinny jeans and um, kind of cropped. I have another pair of black kind of mom jeans, similar style, and I don't wear these that often, so I figured they would be good to trend shorts. I'm thinking of making them my mirrors here, so I'm just gonna look for reference. Boy, about this length, like a like a bit of a longer short. And these Topshop jeans don't have like a style name, but I would say these are like a clotted waist. Like I said, they're from Topshop. They have been taken in, and to be honest, they are a struggle to get over my bum. So I'm gonna give they probably compensate and make these like quite long shorts because otherwise I think they're gonna be riding up far too much. So my plan is, I think, I'm gonna use this sewing kit. I'll show you. Um, so Kyle got me this sewing kit for like a sewing machine for Christmas. And to be honest, this is probably more of a hand stitching kit. But what it has is, um, I'll just show you, hang on. These like seamstress needles. I'm just thinking about putting these in my legs and I don't know how I would take them off me without pricking myself. I just have a big cable here. This length, I figure I can always cut more. But part of things would it be smarter to they have these little pencils, which I assume are like seamstress pencils. So is it a better idea to just... It didn't really show up. Well, I kind of did. Yeah, I have a line here. I'm going to try and cut off it. Wish me luck. So I've got my sewing table here. I've got a sewing mat. I've got my rotary blade, which is what I think I'm going to use. And my scissors. I'm going to move back a tiny bit, just so that I'm properly on screen. And now I just need to find... Yeah, all right. I see where I did it. All right, I guess let's cut. I would show you to me cutting, but I'd have to redo the whole camera angle. So I'll just show you how it works out. These blades are so sharp, it's unbelievable. Let's go! I think this is like, I end up obviously cutting into like the crotch area. Now I need to try and make these match. Maybe if I would folding work? I think folding would work. So then I can I can cut along fold. Does that make sense? I'm kind of okay if these are like a bit frayed. So I'm hoping they have like a vintage look to them. I wonder also what I can do with these two pieces of denim. Okay, let's try my shorts on. are really cute do you not think because of like the clot leg these have a real like 90s vibe 80s 90s vibe to them i'm not 100 percent sure i'm gonna stand pretty still are my legs the same length do they match i don't really like wearing shorts but i would usually wear shorts that are just my dad having a fight with the door downstairs i feel like i would usually wear shorts that are like shorter than this but I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I think these are very cute and like a really good length in terms of like they can breathe because they were a looser leg but like there's no worry about my bum being out like there's no worry about anything being like even a modest like girls can wear whatever they want but like I'm not that comfortable like 
showing off my body so like do you not think these are so cute like 80s i hope people like them i think they're really cute like i could always make them shorter like oh yeah i could probably just like if i wanted to one day hang on let me do this and then i'll come back to you yeah like if i wanted to one day wear like more like hot pants these aren't hot pants because they still cover my bum but like if i wanted like they're pretty versatile am i just blowing smoke up my own butt i think shorts oh, look at that fray shorts number one pretty successful so i'm thinking that these black jeans are going to be a little bit harder to do because just because i've drawn the line on them let me no oh. <laughs> they're over there i can't be bothered i just want to like for length i really don't want short shorts but i wouldn't mind these ones being a wee bit shorter because they're a looser fit and they're like lower waist whereas those ones were quite high waist and really quite tight whereas these ones i think i can afford to go a little bit shorter but i'd rather too long than too short let's say like here's okay i don't know why i'm so surprised like these pencils are made for people who are doing so on so i keep being like Oh my god, these show up on clothes. I think that's literally why they're made. But anyway, let's crop. That was embarrassing. Ready to do, just trying to remember where was a good place to have these. Ready to do jeans numero dos. Except, kind of lost. Oh, there it is. I thought I'd lost my blue line. It's very faint, to be honest. I wonder would scissors be easier? I'm gonna try one pair of scissors since I've done one pair with the blade. Cause like I have big. Where'd they go? Like I have these big fabric scissors, so like if I line it up, I think I could probably do it in like almost two cuts. I might as well try it. Yeah. Okay. Line and do that. Yep. Pretty easy. I'm gonna have a look denim to be doing work with you know and, like learning how to make like a denim handbag like a denim waistcoat throwing it back to that photo of um britney spears and justin timberlake at like what like the vmas or like i don't know but that will be me this is harder to make sure that they're even oops the last ones i just went across the line oh yes because i folded them over it's more kind of harder to do now that i've already literally cut oh uh, Flip is the only word. I don't really know what I've done. The crotch area is done so differently to the rest of the leg. It's kind of hard. Mm. These are not, <laughs> these are not the same leg. Right. <laughs> I need to make these the same leg. It's the easiest way to do that. <laughs> or to please. I hardly thought this was an acceptable craftsmanship. Also, oh my, nope. They look like they're far too short and cut so badly. I think they're kind of cut badly around like the inner thigh area, which no one can see anyway. So that's fine. I can't figure out how to fold these. I'm talking, I'm literally just having conversations with myself now, but like, I feel like if I ironed them, I'd maybe be able to see where the unevenness is. I'm just gonna try these on, but I don't think these are gonna be a great job. So I need to spend some time, to be honest, and fix the cut on these. I'll come a bit closer. They're like a little bit uneven, whereas the last pair were much more even. I think it's easier to do it with swapped backwards into the radiator. It's easier, I think, to do it with a blade rather than the scissors. I'm just looking at myself in the mirror and these are just like quite badly cut, but I'm kind of worried about taking the blade to them in case I take them up too high, if that makes sense. These are much more of like a classic, just kind of like, <laughs> I just pulled them up and they're so much more uneven now. Like not quite a mini short, mini short, it doesn't sound right. Midi? Oh, like short shorts. Like they're still not like short shorts because they're still like below the bum, but like they're definitely shorter. But like obviously black's pretty classic and they're very relaxed so like hopefully if we get warm weather you know like you could cut put these on and cut about because they've got that comfortable waist because they're a bit big but definitely harder to cut with the scissors i find and definitely a worse job between the jeans and the jeans and the jeans between the lighter jeans and the darker jeans these are much worse and i prefer the fit so much more of the lighter jeans the only thing is is like part of me is half tempted to 
And those lighter jeans are a wee bit shorter, but I kind of like the length because I feel like it makes them look like vintagey. My hair is a state and I have no makeup on. I am just becoming self conscious, but I'm trying to ignore it. Then I kind of have that more vintagey look for them. And if I want to just get another pair of shorts, I could probably pretty easily get a cheap pair on like Primark or somewhere. So I think it would be a waste of money. Not a waste of money. I think it'd be a waste to cut them shorter when I think they have a cool look about them. Like imagine that with a wee jumper and like white trainers, very 90s. But I do need to fix these. I do need to fix these. So that is the end of the video, keeping it pretty short and sweet. Um, I only had two pairs of jeans that I wanted to crop the rest of my stuff from my Organize My Wardrobe video I'm selling. Apart from a few things here that need um, a few repairs that either I will do or I will get someone who actually knows what they're doing to do. Um, I'm feeling like this could be a really good background apart from this. Can you please, if you watch my videos, let me know what you think of this being here. Obviously I can't really get rid of it. I could maybe like push it down and <laughs> barricade the door while I'm recording the video so that it's not here. But I feel like it has the potential to be a very nice space. My room is lovely. Like I have a very lovely room. My parents did it up for me when I moved home because of lockdown and it's so nice. But my camera crops really tightly and it is so hard to find a nice angle. And like, it's just one of those things, you know when things are so minuscule? Yeah, so I talked so much rubbish that my memory card actually got full, but I was just saying, you know when you get really stressed for things that are really insignificant, like all the time I just think about, like my YouTube background, which is such a weird thing to think about, but I always just think like, it doesn't look as nice as I want it to look. Like, so silly. Like, I still think, I think most of the time it looks pretty good, but sometimes it looks a bit wick, but I mean, it's not entirely important. Either way, I think this is like a maybe, but just let me know about this. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you think I made a good job out of the shorts. I think I made a really good job out of the first pair of shorts. Second pair of shorts is definitely up for, for debate. I'm just editing this video now and just wanted to let you know that I actually tried to even up the leggings, um, not the leggings, the shorts after the video and I absolutely ruined the black pair of shorts. I kept trying to make them even and I think I tried to use the rotary blade because it worked on the other ones and then I basically cut like a massive hole not even a hole like a dip into like the crotch area and now they're literally unwearable so a 50 percent success rate but either way i hope you enjoyed the video please check out any of my other videos that i have please like share and subscribe to my channel it really means a lot to me um and yeah i hope to see you in the next one bye